Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to as many comments as I can in the first 15 minutes of these episodes going live. AJ Lee and Paige are currently being recreated for the screen with Rock the Dwayne Johnson's new movie fighting with my family. The two, of course, had a memorable frenemy relationship when they were both in WWE, and one fan asked if they still keep in touch. Yes, we mostly talk about makeup periods, and when's the next time we will post underwear selfies? Tuesday. We agreed the next time is Tuesday. To which Paige hashtagged, Titty Tuesday. Of course, they're, ju they're just being silly together. They won't actually post any underwear selfies today. I'll just, uh, I'll just make sure though. Nothing yet. Maybe if I put one T in titties. Damn it. One WWE tease that actually might be happening, however, is Matt and Jeff Hardy returning to the company. This has become a rather confusing story. The Hardy Boys departed TNA Impact Wrestling last Monday, and various sites reported they were in talks with WWE about a return. Then on Saturday's Ring of Honor show, Manhattan Mayhem 6, they shockingly turned up to win the ROH Tag Team title belts from the Young Bucks. We were all swerved, the Broken Hardys went and signed with Ring of Honor instead. But then reports started coming out that their ROH deals might not be as significant as first thought. Dave Meltzer has since said on Live Audio Wrestling that while he knows the contract's specific details like creative control and ability to take independent bookings, whenever I ask the time frame, I'm not getting an answer, which makes me think, is it three months? Is it two months? Is it a year? It could be like a four event contract possibly. And then Ring of Honor COO Joe Coff also played coy with the contract length when talking to ESPN. We're very excited to have the Hardys. Being part of Ring of Honor for the next set of weeks or months whatever it ends up being. This is all while Pro Wrestling Sheet, a very reliable news source, is standing firm by their reports from last Friday that the Hardys and WWE are in preliminary talks, and that it was always the plan to do more with the Young Bucks heading into their ROH match on WrestleMania weekend. For what it's worth, Wrestling News World are reporting these talks are even further along, with Matt and Jeff starting drug testing, medical screenings, and physicals this week. Pro Wrestling Sheet are also reporting that Matt has officially filed a trademark for the name Broken Matt Hardy for entertainment services, namely wrestling exhibits and performances by a professional wrestler and entertainer. TNA will presumably dispute this as they claim to have ownership of the character. It'll be interesting to see how this affects the Hardys' gimmick in ROH and their potential return to WWE. A return that Matt continues to tease, warning the Raw Tag Team Champions on Twitter, be aware, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, I will eat and I will delete you. Delightful. We didn't get the rumoured Finn Balor return on Raw last night, although he's still advertised to come back at the live event on Friday, but The Undertaker did show up to start his ultimate thrill ride WrestleMania 33 feud with Roman Reigns. It's happening, folks. Another match that might be happening after both sides said it was probably off last week is Shaq versus The Big Show. O'Neill revealed on his latest big podcast with Shaq, I've talked to somebody high up in the organization and we're back talking again. So Triple H pretty much shot on CM Punk on Raw last night. Watch my full review of this week's episode and find out about the botched finish at WWE Fastlane by clicking the videos to the left and subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.